snowfall, something that's a delight for many children around the world, comes at a cost to those living here in the Dawoodia refugee camp. The camp in Iraq is run by the Kurdish regional government and close to the border with Turkey. It's a region known for its cold weather. These people live in containers covered with nylon sheets to try and protect them from the harsh weather. The camp was established in 2015 with space for 900 people, but the Research Resource Center says there's now more than 3,000 here. As the roads fill with snow, many say they're running very low on fuel and can't adequately heat their shelters. Actually, they fall ill. What can I say? If they go out, they will get ill. Inside, there is no fuel to turn on the heater, and there is not even electricity, so there is nothing here. Normally, the Kurdistan regional government and international aid organizations give out kerosene, but they say they are short on supply. In the previous year, they were giving us fuel at least once, but this year, fuel coupons have been sent by the federal government in Baghdad. After these coupons, the regional government and other organizations have altogether turned their backs on us, knowing full well that this area is very cold, it's freezing, and there is snow. As the cold bites, many here fear for their future and those of their children. But at least for some, the winter's bringing some fun. John Joe Regan, TRT World.